Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. We are looking at a little haze in here. I'm looking at a Home Light C91 for my collection. Picked this up on eBay a couple weeks ago. Had to do quite a bit of work to it. Uh, this was not a slam dunk, which is starting to become a thing. Uh, I'll talk about that in a different video, but. Uh, yeah, I'm finding less and less of these saws that are just needing scraped down and refreshed, you know, carb kit, fuel hose. Uh, some of those easier deals have already been swiped up, and some of what we're buying now are these ones that people have tried to fix and not succeeded. So this one had a number of issues. One, I think it had been real hard and put away wet. Uh, I don't know what or why... what led to somebody having to go into the saw at some point, but they've been in there. Uh, it's had a blown head gasket, and that's not common, at least not in my experience on home light saws. It's not common at all. But between the two upper cylinder studs, that piece of gasket was gone. Part of it was still there, but it was all angled up, and there was easily a good inch gap where that thickness of the gasket was visible between this cylinder and the crankcase. So that was pretty bad. What's worse is somebody ran it that way for a while. And I mean, it wasn't usable. Even if you tuned the thing richer than rich, the chain wouldn't stop turning. It was running at over half throttle. But there was so much buildup of fuel and sawdust and crap inside the engine that it was clear that somebody cut at least some with it like that. And I don't ask me how, I don't know, kind of weird, but hey. So, anyhow, got the cylinder gasket replaced. Somehow, magically, the cylinder and piston are still in phenomenal shape. Good compression. Great compression, really. Uh, so, yeah, that was the biggest problem. Somebody had done a carb kit and a fuel hose. They didn't use the greatest fuel hose on the inside of the tank. This was also leaking. They used one of the aftermarket gaskets that you can get. And it's in the garbage can because that's about what I think of it. I mean, this is Felpro gasket. It's not trash, but this gasket weeps fuel pretty quickly. Maybe if it had a gasket sealant on it, like uh, the Permatex uh, gasket cinch, that would probably seal it up. But... I already had it apart. I just used my modal seal in there. And I like to, what I like to do on that, if you're doing a fuel tank half with the modal seal, get a nice bead on there, get all your screws started, and then let it sit for oh, half an hour or so. Let it really tack up and seal a little bit. Maybe even an hour. But then go back and tighten everything down. That way, it doesn't compress and just blow everything out. You actually get a good, decent bead in there. Again, dry as a bone. Not an ounce of fuel on my fingers, so. Anyway, got that taken care of. Uh, put some better hose in the tank. Ignition was kind of janky. It had an aftermarket chip, so I dealt with all that stuff and got rid of the chip. It's back to a true points ignition. Good hot spark. Uh, what else? New bar and chain. Well, new to the saw. Didn't come with a bar and chain. So I dug through my vintage pile of stuff for me and pulled out this nice roller nose. I think this thing's a 20. I think it's a 24. Looks like a 24. Anyway, nice new 3 8 chain. This has a rim sprocket on it. It doesn't quite fit as well as it should. Uh, it's riding. The clutch is contacting right to the outside of the drum, but you know it works. And I like the, uh, the ability to run a 3 8 chain on these old saws, because we all know that's easier to find. So, anyhow, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, muffler. That was a janky mess. Uh, obviously, I've replaced the cap. The original cap was pretty rotted out. And the cylinder stripped out and oversized. 
One was oversized a quarter inch, one was oversized to five sixteenths. All these stupid spacers in there, just a stinking mess. So this stuff's going to go in the garbage can where it belongs. Uh, what I ended up doing is using a set of muffler studs for a later XP that were already quarter inch. Put an insert in the one that was bad here. And got everything to quarter inch. Now those XPs don't fit with this thinner muffler body. I could have used that bigger one, but I chose to stick with the stock muffler body and just cut the studs down to where they would fit and rethread them. Yeah, it takes a little more work, but what the hell. If I hadn't told you, you wouldn't know. So that was kind of what I was aiming for. So anyway, a nice vintage patinaed, but still pretty cool home light C91. One more fun fact. As Homelite was getting ready to introduce their C or their XP series, at a certain serial cutoff, these C91s went from the pyramid four reed valve back to the single reed that you find on the smaller saws in this lineup. This is still the earlier pyramid reed, which is considered more desirable. Urban legend is that Homelite really wanted their XPs to shine so they didn't want a C91 to compete with an XP1000 and accidentally show it up if a customer did a you know side-by-side -side comparison with one so a yeah, little fun trivia there so anyway I'm happy to have a C91 for the collection